Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to a fresh video and a fresh, I was going to say a fresh week, it actually isn't. It's a Friday morning. I feel like the weeks are going so quickly. Like how on earth is it Friday already? I feel like it was only last Friday, like two days ago. It's just everything's like flying by. It's the 29th of September, so it's two days until September is over, which is crazy. But today, it is a beautiful, autumnal, sunny, beautiful day. I'm actually thinking it's a good thing that the kind of cold weather's coming because I'm really appreciating my longest sleeve base layers. And they're all just a little bit more glamorous as well, which I really love. So today I'm in a Maximilian base layer and my breeches that you'll see later on in the video are from Blackheart and they are in the colour and they are the truffle ones. But this morning I'm off to be very adult. I have a mortgage meeting. Who am I? Literally, I'm growing up. I feel like an adult. So I'm doing that first, and then I'm heading for a morning at the yard. I'm gonna be filming some content for Instagram, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my little handle down here. I've just hit 40K today, which is amazing. Excuse kind of the crazy looking hair. I slept in a heatless color, and it kind of worked, but it's now sort of dropping, so we're kind of looking a little bit crinkly and bizarre. <laughs> so yes, horsey day planned, lovely weekend planned as well. In five days I'm flying to New York, so there will soon be lots of New York content coming as well. So I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And on that note, I will see you guys at the yard. Mwah! Yard arrival. Let's get Ringo in. Let's start pampering him, tucking him up, and let's have a really nice ride. My adult ting, adult ting, adult ting, adult ting, um, went really very well. Went very well this morning. And yeah, I absolutely do feel like I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm not ready to go there. Oh, yeah, you, Brid Bridget, tell him. You tell him. Oh, sure they will. <laughs> okay. Go. Oh. Bridget, he is allowed to breathe. Poor Dingo, he is allowed to breathe, you know. He is. Give me a second, you. Let me get my camera over here. Come this way. Hi guys, oh my god, it's so bright today. The weather is just beautiful. I've just ridden Ringo and he was a little legend as per usual. Just at the Wilbur station, about to choose my Wilbur for the day. <laughs> Highlight. <laughs> and yeah, now I've actually been mucking out um, and sort all the afternoon jobbers out. I actually got to move 50 bells of hay. I mean, not very far, like from here to sort of here, but I don't know whether to do that today or whether to do that next week. But to my equestrians, you know, like when you move hay, you end up kind of sometimes like with scratches or bruises on your legs. And I'm going to New York next week, so if I do it today, I'm hoping that my legs, if I do end up battered and bruised, will hopefully have cleared by my holiday, but I also feel like really delicate and just hormonal today, if you know what I mean. So do I really want to be moving, so then do I really want to be moving 50 bales of hay? I just don't know is the answer to that, but um, let's do the mucking up first and then we can worry about everything else after. <laughs> I feel like we got cut off really abruptly yesterday and I'm so sorry but my camera died while I was at the yard which was not so good. 
today it's Saturday and I've actually had a horse free day and I love my horse free days. Just getting ready for a date night afternoon kind of thing. It's about three o'clock on a Saturday and I've just been food shopping. It's a date night at home tonight and I feel like I haven't cooked at home in a couple of weeks. So I'm kind of really looking forward to having like a chef scar kind of evening. <laughs> I'd come and chat to you guys while I finish getting ready. So I'm going very natural, very kind of cutesy and just really easy to take off later. Just kind of skin that looks like skin, a little bit of mascara, nothing on the eyes, a tiny bit of a pencil through my brows and I'm just about to do my and I'm just about to do my new favourite like everyday lip combo with you as well. Jumper wise if you haven't seen my latest Lily Silk haul then I'll leave it, it linked either here or in the description box if I actually have a wonderful discount code across the whole website which includes all the cashmere as well and that is Scarlet12 and I think the Scarlet has a capital S but I'll leave it on the screen and I will leave that in the description box. This jumper I live in. This was my first collaboration with them, which would have been about a year or so. I feel like this is how you know that I genuinely love every single product that I promote on my YouTube channel because I will only ever work with brands that I truly, truly love and know that you guys are truly gonna love as well. I have worn this jumper to death. And in case you haven't heard of Lily Silk and haven't watched that video, Lily Silk, in my opinion, is the best priced for the quality that you're ever gonna find with cashmere and silk items. I think this jumper without the discount code is about £120, which I know sounds expensive for a jumper, but when you're talking cashmere and you're talking the most incredible quality that is not itchy, I've worn this like a million times, I'm genuinely being serious. I wear it, I dress it up, I dress it down. Today I'm dressing it down, just wearing it kind of in like a really comfy casual way. It's insane, so I'll leave all of the uh, links down below and I'll also leave the link to that video if you wanted to see the try on haul as well. Um, lip combo this evening. I am obsessed with these lip liners. I get them on the TikTok shop. <laughs> on the TikTok shop, I sound like I'm a grandma. Um, this is in the shade Honeysuckle. Um, all lip, no trip lip liners from Made by Mitchell, I think. Um, I'm not sure if I can leave them linked otherwise. I will if I can, but I don't know if it's just like a TikTok shop thing. But this is like a dark nude. It's a really nice shadow to the lips so you can kind of make your lips look a little bit plumper especially I like pencil it in and then kind of blend it into my lip with my finger so kind of, so then like when the lip product that you've got on top kind of wears away you've still got the kind of shadow from the lip liner if that makes sense these are genuinely the best lip liners and then because I am just going for a really natural look I'm just going to go on top with the Clarins lip oil I was actually really kindly sent a PR package from the from Clarins the other day um, but I have not stopped wearing them and actually just quickly I'm going to do a super quick comparison between the Clarins one and the Dior one I would say this feels more like I say skincare like lip care if that makes sense this one is definitely more of like a high shine thicker sort of product so this I wear on its own without a lipstick because I feel like it's just really nourishing and it's got quite a pretty color to it this I'll pop on top of lipstick and it will last me like all night long it's going to make my lips look luscious and glossy and kind of going outy this is definitely more of a going out product this is definitely more of like a daytime wear if that makes sense like if you're ever considering thinking oh which lip oil do I go for if you're looking for like lip hydration I would say the Clarins if you're looking for high shine all night kind of going out star vibe I would say the Dior but this is the Clarins in the colour Pitaya 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 and it's really pretty in pink and it gives like a lip blush effect, I would say, but with like a really kind of glossy, oily finish, but without feeling oily. This is really pretty and I like it. It's really easy to kind of continue to apply. And as you can see, like it's given me quite a nice tint to my lips as well, without having lipstick on underneath, if that makes sense. Take a shot every time I say, if that makes sense. Also, headband season has come back. Now I bought a pack of like five of these um, on Amazon last year. Again, I will leave these linked. They took a couple of weeks to come, so I'm not sure where they actually came from, but they weren't on Prime. But if they are on Prime, then have a look anyway in the description box if that makes sense. I think I got about five headbands for like six pounds, which is crazy. I like that to focus. They're like a really nice like woven material. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be wearing my Adenola coffee bean leggings onto this because I'm just going like chilling cash. So we're either gonna go with like a colour that matches the jumper. I find that's too similar to the jumper. Let's try the brown. I feel like with some styling, automatically, yes. So I've just used this dry shampoo just on my root. I do actually have clean hair, but I do just sometimes add it just to add like a little tiny bit more volume and make my roots look a little bit like whiter, if that makes sense. So this is the Moroccan oil one. And again, I got this on Amazon, I think, so I'll leave it linked. I'm just gonna brush that through. Ready. And we're gonna be cooking. I'm gonna be leaving, and I will leave the recipe potentially on the screen, but also definitely in the description box. I'm making chicken and leek pie. 
but it is the best recipe ever. Now it was during lockdown, I had like a thing on a lockdown on Saturday morning where they had the like the great British chefs or like the best of the best of British baking or something or other like cooking show on a Saturday morning where they basically like there was, there was like there was clips from like British baking channels like actual like TV shows and then put them all into one sort of show if that makes sense you'd have a little bit of Mary Berry and then Nigella would come on and then this person and that person and Nigel Slater came on with this chicken pie recipe and I love the look of it so much that I actually wrote it down in my notes app as he was talking through the recipe and I've been using this recipe ever since lockdown it's foolproof you don't you can be a great cook and still enjoy this recipe there's not many ingredients it's super easy and oh my god it is delicious I'm doing it today I think just on its own without mashed potato but you can add mashed potato and gravy if you want to I think I'm definitely going to do some gravy and I'm going to check my potatoes because I think my potatoes have been in the cupboard for about two weeks so you know when you just kind of need to check them because then I could do mash but we're gonna see. But yeah, that is what I'm cooking this evening. So I'm gonna try my best to get as many clips from like behind the scenes to be able to put on like a cozy little time lapse because I'm really enjoying editing the kind of kind of chef scar cooking uh, video. So if you are enjoying them, do let me know. And if you're not, then again, do let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm just, but yeah, I'm in like a really kind of happy, bubbly mood this evening. So I thought I would um, run you through me. <laughs> today i'm just going to do a little spritz with some charlotte tilbury actually because i kind of feel like i want to keep even even though there's not much there to kind of keep there this evening i kind of do want to keep it all there it's my favorite setting spray and it is the airbrush flawless from charlotte tilbury it is expensive but this lasts me ages and i use it like a lot of it because i love it so much and i find it really um hydrating as well and my makeup does not budge with this um I'm gonna finish getting ready and I will see you guys in the kitchen. <laughs> also, I know this looks horrendous and tragic, but I love a little bit of horrendous and traffic. Um, tra <laughs> horrendous and traffic, horrendous and tragic in the autumn. And how cute are these? I actually got them from the rain. And as we say, tragic but cute. <laughs> It is photo shoot day. It's my last photo shoot actually before flying to New York in two days time And it's really getting real now like the fact I'm going to New York in a couple of days I'm also actually going to a horse show while I'm out there as well um, My friend who lives out there has her horses with a gold medalist show jumper And we're gonna go and watch him compete I think either on the Saturday or the Sunday which is very exciting So buzzing for that obviously taking you guys with me in New York So do watch out for the New York vlogs tomorrow because I haven't packed yet We are gonna do a tiny little pack with me. I was gonna do a separate video, but I just don't think there's like enough content really I'm gonna be like focusing on packing as opposed to like focusing on content so we'll do like a mini pack with me I think but today it's just some behind the scenes of me and Sammy on a photo shoot also need to go to Avely um and get some feed and get all the horses stuff all ready for me to go away for a couple of days um 
honestly, I'm like, I'm like running out of time. I'm like in the middle of being stressed, excited and busy and just like, oh, all at the same time. Hence why I didn't pick up the camera yesterday because I'm like admin, admin, because yesterday was like admin, admin, admin and do my nails. <laughs> so the rest of the week I can just kind of focus on work and work packing horses, making sure that everybody's like all ready for me to go. Um, and yeah, so let's go and do a photo shoot. Look who it is. <laughs> So we are on to outfit number two, still anemia, I'm just in the orchid this time, what are you wearing Sam's? I'm in full black heart in the new show shirts, lovely. which are lovely, looks lovely, lovely, lovely. Ooh, it might be on your cuff, your right cuff, yeah. That one? Jesus Christ, that's my eyeball. Do you know, do you know what day it is today? It's Tuesday, 3rd of October. And on this day he asked me what day it is. And I said, what day it is it? 3rd of October. It's what the 3rd of October. No, it's October 3rd. Oh, October 3rd, it's October 3rd. <laughs> try again, try again. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, um, what day is it? It's October 3rd. Thank you. <laughs> Too cool for school. Excited. So this morning guys, I'm off to Primark. I'm actually going to try and bring you guys with me. Um, I will obviously be doing a Primark haul once I get home. Use this whole kind of um, like athleisure look this morning. I need tights and the best, best place to get cheap tights on um, mass, that's the word I'm looking for, Primark. Then we're going to pack together. Then I'm going to end this video, edit this video so I can go live when I'm away. Go into the horses, go and sort the horses ready for my trip and go to New York tomorrow. I'm so excited. Um, so yes, let's go and get our pumpkin spice lattes and head to Primark. Mwah! and they are not pumpkin spice lattes so I am trying very hard to not be a brat and throw a straw. <laughs> disappointing when I say disappointing I mean above and beyond and I have the weakest haul literally ever and I also walked over to Starbucks for a pumpkin spice latte and they were out of the syrup so I've had to come home and make one from home which is the only part of the pumpkin spice is the, the words on the cup this is just a caramel coffee um well a caramel latte um so mm, it's good though it doesn't hit quite as hard as the pumpkin spice though Primark haul and um, well start off I've got airport snacks, which I picked up in the supermarket. These are just the Biscoff Kit Kats, which are insane. These need to go, these need to go in my hand luggage. Oh yeah, oh, I forgot I got those. Okay, so <laughs> we have trainer socks. I lose socks so easily. I don't know where my socks go, but my socks disappear. So I've just got these like, little um, invisible low cut trainer ones. I really wanted some brown tights and the closest I could find were these like dark bronze ones. Um, so these are 10 denier, five pairs matte tights. Basically, I've just got tights. Um, I've got 10 denier, five pairs of glossy black tights. These are like the see-through black ones. I've then got some opaque black tights. 
And the last two things I bought, when I tell you it's a week haul, when I told you it was a week haul, I, I mean it. Also, excuse the tumble dryer on in the background. I'm trying to get through as much washing as I can as well before I go. Um, I bought some sunnies, which I'll try on in a second with you. And then I just bought, bought these, um, and then I just bought these neutral kind of neutral brownie matte clog lips because I'm a clog lip kind of gal. Um, but let's try the, oh, there's my scissors. Let me try the sunnies on quickly for you guys. I am a designer sunglass girl, but for like traveling and like every day, I am not opposed to a cheap pair of sunglasses that I don't mind like sitting on, losing, whichever and whatever. Um, and these look a really cool shape. I didn't try them on, so they might not suit me, but they were two pounds. So um, if they don't suit me, it doesn't matter. Excusing the hat hair, but are we ready? I feel like I look like that. I feel like I look like that meme. You know the one that's like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know which one I'm on about, but I feel like it, when you look at me, you know exactly which one I'm on about. And all the sunglasses emoji. I feel like I don't hate them. I feel like I don't hate them. I just maybe I'm not completely like obsessed, but it is what it is. They were two pounds. On that note, let's get on with some packing. <laughs> I always want to film like aesthetically pleasing pack with my videos. I never know where to put you, I never know what to do, and I'm also in like a stress mode of packing. I find I don't find packing like stressful, but I also don't find it like an easy task. You know how guys, the guys have it so easy. They pack their boxes, their trunks, their tops. If it's a cold holiday, a couple of pairs of jeans, a couple of shirts, done and dusted. Again, I've still I've still got a massive mountain on my forehead, so do ignore that. But um for the girls it's just it's so difficult. Um and it, and, it take, and it takes forever. How people actually pack aesthetically, I will never know. I will leave all of my travel essentials in the description box down below. For example, like all my packing cubes and things like that. So, um, yes. Going on a trip anytime soon, I definitely recommend heading down to the description box. <laughs> it's gonna be hot out in New York. It's not giving autumn. It's giving like autumn, summer, transitional, but I'm still packing for autumn because that's the reason I'm going is for autumnal content. I have these beautiful Stuart Weitzman um, boots, which I actually picked up from Mr. Village it was so cheaply a good few years ago. So they are my heeled boots of choice, like my uncomfy shoes of choice, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm so not good at packing. I'm already ready for a break and I put one pair of boots in the bag. That is it. <laughs> Well guys, I've got us to here. We've got some packing cubes all packed. I've got my boots. I've got a pair of trainers and I'm going to be wearing a second pair of trainers. Plasters in case, obviously, I get any blisters. Excuse my hand luggage just sat in the middle there. Um, I've got a belt. I'm kind of, you know, when you're not in a packing mood slash mode and I'm hoping I'm taking enough. I've got some like athleisure stuff so I can go for like nice walks and things and so I've got some comfies. I do also have some trackies with me um, and I've got some nice outfits but... I'm just, I'm not in like a packing mood, so I'm just hoping that I'm taking enough. And my egghead self are actually going to stop this video here um, and go and edit it so it's ready to go. Sort the horses out this evening, sort the dogs out so I can all, so I can finish packing this evening and get ready to go. Oh, but I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I can't really remember what's happened over the last few days, but I'm hoping that there's enough content for you guys to enjoy and I will see you next. Well, I'll see you in New York. <laughs>